Hello my friends and welcome again to another tutorial for the Art Cake Experience. And so the art cake to make the duck I already have my um, yellow sugar paste. I bought it already colored. I just add some CMC yesterday so the paste will be malleable but at the same time it will hold uh, the design that I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut this not in half but almost. Okay, like half would be here, so I'm going to cut a little bit more than half for the body. See, if my half will be here, a little bit more of half for the body and this other part for the head. And from the body, I'm just going to take a little pinch, not much, just a little pinch, because from here I'm going to be making the wings of the duck, maybe a little bit more okay, for the wings, and that's it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is the body. If you're doing a bigger one, uh, make sure that you put some uh, some structure inside. It could be a little bowl of star form of, uh, or, I don't know, or paper, or rice crispy paper, not paper, but uh, foil, aluminum foil, or rice crispy, just to give some structure. But this is a small, so we don't need that. So I'm making a ball. From this ball, I'm going to start shaping it by pressing here. I'm going to start shaping it in somehow like a pear shape, but I'm not doing it this way because I don't want it to lose the roundness here. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this here. And once it is in the size or the size more or less of what I want for the body, that's it. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm just going to pinch the back. To create the tail, lift it up, then just, just move this part here and bend it a little bit, just, just by pinching, but not too hard. Okay, so I will have more or less this shape for the body. Once the body is done, I'm going to use the little bit of uh, sugar paste that I took from the body. I'm going to cut, make a, I made a ball. Now I'm going to cut it in half. My neighbors are making so much noise today. Sorry about that. And uh, from this to half, I'm going to create the wings of the duck. So again, I'm going to make a ball. Okay, then I'm going to pinch this ball into, I'm going to just to get some a little bit of um, uh, sugar, icing sugar, I'm sorry. I use icing sugar, icing sugar instead of cornstarch, but you can use cornstarch as well, okay? Because my, my hands are a little bit sticky because it's humid today, it's raining. So I'm pinching one side, leaving this side a little bit thicker. Okay, so once this, uh, this uh, wing looks like this, so I pinch it here, like I said, and it's rounded here. With this tool, I'm just going to mark it, just to give it some texture here. And I'm going to do it like in a curved shape. So when I go like this, it would look like the wing of the duck. And I'm going to do the same with the other one, but with the curves to the okay, other now side. Now that I have my two wings ready, I'm just going to glue them with a little bit of Tylos water or CMC. I'm going to just glue one here and glue the other here. Since this character is a little bit cartoonish, I am not going to blend. Let me just put it better here. Sorry. I'm not going to blend this here because it looks okay. Now for the head, I made a ball with the remaining uh, sugar paste that I took from the body at the beginning. Again, if you're going to do a bigger one, remember to use some structure inside so you can make a bigger one and it won't sink into the duck. But for now, I think it's okay. So using a toothpick, little toothpick, I'm just going to insert it here for the ball to hold. I'm going to put some um, Tylos water and now I'm just going to glue or to place the head of the duck in here. So this is more or less the proportion of work. Before we move on to 
the beak and the eyes that I said before, we're actually going to do his feet. So for the feet, again, I made two balls. I'm going to do the same that I did for uh, the wings. Just press it in one side. Whoops, sorry about that. Press it in one of the sides so I can leave this uh, side thicker. Once it is pressed, I'm just going to go with my round tool and I'm going to push like two holes in here, but this will be just a marking because what I want with this is a mark for me to place my fingers. So when I pinch this, it will get the look of a web of feet. Good. If you think it's too tall, I think this one is too tall. So I'm just gonna press, like too thick. So I'm just gonna press it a little bit. I'm going to do the same here. Just mark here. Perfect. So I have these two markings where I'm just going to pinch here, pinch here, and pinch it here as well. And this way I have, again, I'm gonna press it down a little bit because it's too, too thick. So I have the duck's feet. And I'm just going to do some little markings because I think it looks cute with this tool. Going to mark his feet like this, just to give a little more character to the little duck. Okay, now I'm going to glue this into the base. Good, so these are glued into the base with some Tylos water. It looks so cute because the proportion is so off that it, make it, it makes it really cartoonish. And I like that, I like how it looks like that. Okay, now for the beak, I'm going to take a little bit more of the orange uh, sugar paste making a ball. These designs are very, very simple. They're great to do with kids if you're working with kids or if you want to entertain your children with, with this because it's it's it, everything is made out of little balls actually. So it's really good. Uh, so I'm making one little ball. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press it a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm going to create some sort of triangular shape with it. Okay. Now, depending on how thick you want the beak to be, I think I think this thickness will be more than enough for the duck, but right now it's a little bit long. So I'm going to cut a bit in the back. And now I'm going to round this because that way it will fit, uh, it will fit better here when I place it. Actually, I still think it's a little long, but I think writing his face, I can, I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. I think it's too, too big. Because this is a cute little duckling. So I think this size is more than enough. I'm going to add some tiles water into it. And now, place him big. And because he's so cute and I want to give him a big smile, the first thing I'm going to do is with the small round tool, I'm going to press here, just in the, here in the, in the, the bottom, it's not the bottom, like here in the size of the big. And then with an um, X-Acto knife, I'm going to make a cut to mark the center of the beak. Good, let me see. Perfect. Let me just mark it better here. Okay, you can even pinch this underneath to make this part uh, smaller than the upper part of the beak and it will look really cute. And this, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Looks like he's smiling. Good, cute. Uh, next we're going to do now for the, the duckling's eyes. eyes. The first thing I'm going to do is just mark his eyes right here. This is just a guide because the eyes are not going to be just inside these holes. It's just a guide to see where I want the eyes to be. Okay, and I'm going to make two little balls of 
and the eyes are going to be quite big because as I said the this duck is a bit cartoonish so I think he should have big googly eyes okay so I'm going to make these two round oops sorry white eyes and then I'm gonna take a little bit of black just a little bit this is a lot so I'm gonna cut this in half and then I'm gonna cut it in half again and I think I even cut it in half after that let me see I'll see how it looks uh, now just add some CMC here whoops sorry about that I'm going to place the eyes and the eyes running away that doesn't sound right okay big eyes perfect excellent and now I'm just going to add a little bit of CMC here where I want the black of the eye to be and I'm gonna put it here remember Muppet's eyes that's what they look like like Muppets Love the Muppets. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so in order to finish the eyes, as you can see here, I have these two tiny, tiny, tiny little white balls that I'm just going to add to his eyes right here. Oops, I took that one back. Okay, perfect. And now with the help of the modeling tool, I'm just going to press it well here so I have two cute little eyes looking crazy <laughs> but they look okay really now cute. to do the scarf what I did is I rolled out with a rolling pin two different shades of blue I'm going to cut a sort of a triangle here it's like a bandana like a scarf bandana I'm going to cut a triangle shape as you can see right now is a little bit thick it's not gonna be that thick at the end this is just a guide and now this one is a little bit thick too for, for fabric for this guy is thick so using a round cutter I'm going to give him or give this car some polka dots because it's cute and it's fashion could be a fashionable duck okay doesn't look like much now okay and now with the help of my modeling tool I'm just going to press this together if you don't want the dots to look like ovals you have to go and move the piece around so make sure that you press in all the directions possible okay so i'm just going to keep pressing to the sides sides sorry i know i lost this shape but we're going to go back to it in a second okay so we have this big this one for example it's a little bit oval and I want it to look rounder. So I'm just going to round it a little bit. Perfect. Now I'm going to reshape this into the triangle that we have. this because it's going to have a bow I'm not gonna get rid of this parts here now with the use of a little bit of I'm just going to put some some sugar underneath so it won't stick to the mat good now I'm going to add some tiles water to the neck this I'm going to fold it a little bit just to give some movement into it right and he's going to have it 
It's a little big. I think I'm going to cut it because this is more or less the size that I made for the other duck. It was a little bit bigger than this one. So I'm going to reshape it. Good. And now, maybe the size like this is going to have this beautiful scarf here. And let me add some movement here to the to the tip here. Good. Uh, where is my modeling tool? I'm just going to press this inside here. It's a fashion. Good. And now using this, I think I'm going to take this part that has this part, this little, like, it looks like a, almost like a tie in here. So I'm just going to make two stripes in here let me see if they're not too long they're a little bit long i'm going to cut it again okay and maybe make it thinner also on the top perfect now let me just go this here Of the, let me just take this out of the way with the help of the modeling tool I'm just gonna press it here and he looks so good oh my god he just needs some rosy cheeks that I'm gonna give him with some dust and I'll show you how now it looks at the end some uh, edible pink dust I'm just going to give him some blush here some rosy cheeks so he will look even cuter than he is right now and with that we finish our little duckling